hello beautiful people hi guys have you missed me i have missed you guys so so much so you know what we do on this show on the relationship just with defect tv we bring you content that is amazing uncensored stories like you cannot have it like this anywhere else we bring you the gist on love romance sex relationship and what have you i know the beautiful thing here we do not hide it we give it to you as it is hot if you've been following our previous episodes you know that we're actually running a series of mind-blowing stories since they actually occur for relationship i'll be going on a short break now take out your time guys do your homework like share subscribe comment follow tell your friends that here the gist boku the gist plenty when we get back i'll introduce who i'll be doing this particular episode with and we'll delve right into the stories that will leave your mind blown hi there have you ever considered how to generate money online let me explain when you work as an agent with Finance, you receive a discount on all services provided on our platform which you can then resell to your clients at the full price consider the dstv compact bundle as an agent you will receive a discount of 0.8 percent and you will have the option to tackle additional fees when reselling. Start making money right now with Finance. Welcome back, guys. So I have the beautiful Ireti in the house, and we'll be doing this amazing episode of this show together. Mm -hmm. You already know Ireti now, I'm about to. Hello, guys. How you guys doing? Did you miss me? Oh, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Can I read today? I feel like reading one. Okay, so what we're going to do is, what we're going to do is, I'll read one. Betty will read one. So, so we we'll, uh, shake the tables together. You know, I'm always one that's bringing the bad news, but today, we we'll diffuse it. So, I'm going to let her start, oh, you okay. know. <laughs> Here I go. Here I go. Okay, so, he has three children with two women, and he wants to marry me. Okay, so um, my boyfriend at the moment has three children and with two women. He's 39 years old. 39? When did he start having children? Okay. We met last year. He said he loves me and he wants to marry me. Mm -hmm. He already wants to meet my mom. My issue is that what is the relationship with the other two women like? How will it be? Hmm. Okay, he's very kind and honest. He will tell the truth no matter what. I'm having cold feet at this point. Should I consider marrying him? Because most times men tend to have sex with their baby, <laughs> with their baby mamas. Let's watch the stats first. Uh, I'm just going to start by saying, do you know what this relationship with them are? Mm -hmm. are they, are they, is it cordial? Mm -hmm. Will he go back to collect the way he has been collecting since? You know, you have to like consider all of that. Mm -hmm. And if you want my very candid opinion, the fact that you're having cold feet is enough reason for you to, you know, exactly. bounce. Exactly, yeah, I think that's true. But then again, some of us are just wild like that. If you want to enjoy the thrill and the drama and the, you know, up and down. You can, I mean, you said, he, well, she said he's honest, yeah. no matter what. So, mm -hmm. you, you can take a chance. Mm. I didn't say that shabot at owner's risk anyways. But then again, yeah, what do you want know. to do with a man that has three children already? You know that it's going to reduce the amount of children you can have for him when you guys get married. True, that's true. Don't waste your life, baby girl. That is true. I don't know how I feel about the issue. I just see just good luck to you on this matter because just good luck. <laughs> that's all. Why am I getting this very heavy one? I don't get oh, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, let's go. <clears throat> Class truth. We dated for four years. Okay. I had three abortions for him. Wow. Okay. I've been dating my boyfriend for four years now. October will make it four years. I really love him and I've met his family. Mm -hmm. And he has most and he has met most of my family members. Mm -hmm. I asked him what his plans are for us. And he said I have to get pregnant first before he can commit. But you both had abortions. Continue. Sorry. That I have done three abortions for him and two before I met him. Bro, wait, wait, I don't understand. Wait, wait. <laughs> I see. You won't be going to pay you. Wait, you had three abortions for him, and, and you, two, two for him. Last five. five. Okay, I, I'm not, I'm not judging your abortion, whatever. Chica, I'm not judging. That's your business and everything. But my own is, why does she have to get pregnant? He knows you can get pregnant. Is that why? Why is that not the criteria for? He's lying. You're not about to begin. So just move. Moving on. Nice. I told him that he was at fault too. Oh, so you never finished? Okay, no. 
I'm telling him it was a fault too. Mm -hmm. He said he doesn't feel comfortable. I took his advice mm -hmm. and we have been trying to get pregnant for five months now and I'm not. She's asking, am I making the right decision? I know he loves me. He spends on me and I have most of his passwords. I don't know if I should get pregnant again. I'm 26. And honestly, I'm clueless. Number one, why? And the fact that you have his password, the fact that he spends on you, the fact that it does not mean the man wants to marry you. My dear, move. I'm just telling that, you that. I even think that there is Brissy. That I, she said that five months now they have been trying and she not carry bread. Just what is your new passport? No, calm down, calm down. Okay, okay, there's IVF, there's surrogacy, so you don't, you don't have to carry, you know, the world, the technology. But it's CSE yes, men. Just men. that man alone. See, after, marry, giving, after, after, after three abortions, now he wants to know if you're going to marry you. Yes, so what's that? And you said, wait, 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 wait. You said, your womb. Let's not judge anybody. But bro. your womb needs to rest. I'm sure that. That's your womb. You shouldn't even be trying. I can hear your womb crying. crying. 26 now. Can you hear what? I'm hearing the womb crying. <laughs> okay. Five abortions, bro, you need to rest. That Let's womb needs to. Don't even try to get pregnant. Just rest. Five, put the relationship. You need the rest from me. Bring your mother. Everything. Just enjoy all those brothers and sisters. Just go and be Take a break. Your body needs that. 26, baby girl. Okay, Very what's good. the what's the guarantee after this one now? Do not come to remove it. Exactly. Let your womb rest in Just Jesus rest name. Rest. Amen. What's that? Six, five. Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> okay, I'm so confused. Ah, confusion. Confusion. I'm in a current state of confusion, and I honestly don't know what to do. I'm in a relationship of two years, but my boyfriend is getting to my get is my boyfriend is planning on getting married in five to seven years time. <laughs> How old are you? How old are you guys? If you're in secondary school, I understand. You understand, but <laughs> how old are you guys? Years. That's like nine years. Ah, wait, oh, hey, hey, it's plenty. Okay, he feels he needs to be very comfortable in life before marriage, which I understand. Okay, we understand that as a man. You're seven years. I am twenty-seven years of age. Thirty-four. You're seven. That's what. Thirty-four years. <laughs> and I feel by the time he's ready, I'm past my thirties. So recently, I was introduced some man to some man by my friend. This man is rich and very kind to me. He tells me he wants to marry him. Mind you, he's like 20 years older than I am. 27, 20. That's 47. I'm not really... I don't hear... Age is nothing but a number. You understand? You understand my mm. So, my family feels I should, I should because it's definitely going to change my life. I'm so confused on what to do. Please help me. God, I God, we have a girl. Let me just tell you, have a proper discussion with your boyfriend. Tell him that seven years is not possible because you are. See, we're not going to lie. It's 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 a biological thing. Women, after a certain age, we start to decline. We nobody's disputing that fact. You get what I'm saying? Mm. You are 27, 27. I'm not saying you must get married and all that, but if it's your um, if it's something that you want to do and on time, you know, have your babies down and just give it and be done with schooling and everything. Have a discussion with him. Tell him you guys can grow in the marriage. You can always grow in the marriage. And we've heard of stories about that. You don't have to wait till you're 37. And if your boyfriend is still adamant, that knows. No, 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 no. <laughs> Move. Chop up. <laughs> Peace. That's what I'm going to say. Is, well, I'm already the bad person. So he might as well just move on to this man that has the money. And there's money. What the hell do you mean? So we okay. change your life. And again, he's 47, so he's. I, mean, I, I, I feel like older, older men. Oh my God! Like, please, my fine. sister. God just, God just gave me a window of escape. Take it. Take it too. But like, like, talk to your like, man first. Just can't talk to your man. No, no, you have to be nice. Please. You have to burn every bridge with proper fire and gasoline. Someone said you stay for five to seven. When he knows you're 27. No, sir. Yeah, God can bless him in a year or two. Let's not, let's not dispute that fact. In that way, God given gave you a window. So it might be also be the devil. Be careful. Let me let us let us find out. Just, just, are you a Christian? Just pray. Just pray. I don't know. Then seven years is long. Though. Seven years is long. So just move on. So that before thirty, you have like two beautiful babies. And then you drop. Quickly finish your life. Your school. Finish everything. I know. To you. you are puppy in the yard in Dubai. Hey baby. Do you hear sound like that? <laughs> Leave your boyfriend. God will send the woman that will wait with him. All right. We're well, going on a short break. You know, we need to drink a lot of water to digest this. When we get, I don't get, know why this is a lot, you guys. God knows I don't know so far in the <laughs> When we get back from the break, we'll be reading some other stories that would leave you. Don't go Stay anywhere. Tuned. Welcome back, 
guys. Hello. So before we move on to this next story, that other story that we just finished, my love, don't forget to take the window. Our editor said you should run away, like run. Take that window, run. run. Moving on. Yeah. <clears throat> Am I overreacting? Yes. Oh, you never <laughs> know yet. <laughs> I want to know if I should go ahead and marry her. Hey, <laughs> hey. Okay. <clears throat> My wife, my wife is late. Oh, oh my she God. Rest oh my God. I have an eight-year-old daughter who I love so much. <laughs> now I started dating again, and it's serious. Oh, wow. My girlfriend has two children of her own, anyway, mm. and she's divorced. Okay. Oh, okay. My mother was not in support of this relationship, mm. so she asked me to live with her. Now I moved in with my girlfriend first to see how my daughter, my girlfriend, and her own children yeah. will blend. Mm -hmm. I have my own place, but I decided to move to the girl's house. Mm move in because her sorry okay i started to move into her place mm -hmm. to find out some things mm -hmm. i noticed some little things mm -hmm. she never sends her own children out because she always sends my own daughter and her maid to buy stuff she said it's because she wants to teach her how to price things in the market and cook Do you which actually not sorry which is a good reason but what i don't like is that she thinks my daughter should cut her hair my daughter has not my daughter's hair has not been cut since birth and she does a mother's hairstyle almost every time. Her hair is getting very long and big. Should I be concerned about this? Yes. My daughter's hair. Sorry. And when it comes to serving meat and fish, her children take more. These are few things I've noticed. I spoke to her about and she said she doesn't want to spoil her. I truly love this woman. Are these big deals? Should I proceed and marry? No. Eat it. Hey. Uh -huh. This is Red Sea. Like, see blood on the floor like this. No. That's all I've seen. Because they're telling me my own child should be. Let me let me calm myself down. Fortune, go ahead. No, Sha. A baby that you've had for eight years of your life. Ah! That you've taken care of. Now I cut her golden, golden locks here. What's that? Baby, golden hair. So my own, it's your own daughter that is good to go to market. Why are you going to allow you? It's your, it's your audacity to ask if you should marry her. She's it's to, okay she's that you love her. She's going to marry that girl. But you already seen the signs that your daughter will see shaky. She's going to marry that girl. And you want to see marry her? Her children will go to private investment. Your child will be going to ask you. Your child is going to market. She'll go strike. Our children are, are taking fish and meat. The daughter said they look at it. Now they want to come to the daughter's there. And you're asking, egg, see, egg, egg is protein. She's going to eat egg protein. She's going to, you know, body building food. All I'm going to say is that there are certain Red things that girl. love Red. doesn't just justify your cover. Red it's a no no. Anyhow, moving forward. So we have how do I go about this? I think I should put your earpiece away and get ready. <laughs> Please. There's this man who I just met through a friend. <laughs> yeah, there has too many typos, but you know, however, he has given me hundred k, like one hundred k into economy on three different occasions. Ah, uh, uh, which daddy? And I've not done anything with him, not even a kiss. Hundred mm -mm. k, three times, not even a kiss. I am not thinking ritualistic thoughts. Kaba, he's some men are just nice like that. If not yeah. because if not because I cannot bring our editor into this camera now, I've asked him if men are like that true because it's a lie. So and they're okay. they are like sweethearts. What is that damn good thing? Mm -hmm. Okay, he's very, very rich and he has his own house in Ikoi. Exactly. Unmarried and has luxury cars. He hasn't given me money for some time now and I don't know how to ask him for money. And I don't know if I should sleep with him before I ask him. <laughs> Desperation. <laughs> before I ask for money. And also, she's asking this question from with her full chest. Should I get my matter to find hey. them before someone takes, before someone, before someone takes him from me? Okay. Serious question. Are you all right? Do you have a job? Three hundred. Fortune talk. What is all this thing that we're getting on our DMs? I don't understand. If you are wilding me, someone give you 300,000 naira, but not doing anything, and you're asking for Kayamata to tie him down. Are you the devil's... I'm upset. Fortune. I'm disappointed. Not even like, I'm greatly disappointed. Right? Why are you such a gold digger? Why are you digging ground? Why are you looking for the sand that is under the ground? What's wrong with you? I, 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 I think my only issue with all of this is the fact that you you even thought as far as Kayamata. Kayamata really. So that just, okay, really, Fortune said he just gave you out of the goodness of his heart and you now wants to not do bad things. You will spend, you will spend years in jail. All I can legitimately think of is the fact that you're not even like, you actually do not really care about this guy. You don't. There's no love. What's that? 
And the man said, How do you that is why you stop giving you money in the first place? Maybe I've seen that you have a do cocoa. Seeking opportunity, that's what you are. You cannot go and use that and just cook and do job. Go and learn baking. Eh? Be I sh for the love of God and for the love of the, Jesus. love of Jesus Christ. Hmm. Leave that man you know. Like, can your mother really see like that's oh. okay. if you get sent, that's under key by now if I don't double no. if I don't if double you don't know what to do. Bring like, bring let me use let me use my number and multiply it for you. Hey, they, because they must not use money. Yeah, and yeah, do. Yeah, but yourself, please, yeah. but you know, as in leave somebody's money alone. Don't go and use juju. Uh uh. How far is that deep money? Why? Work hard. Uh uh. Ask him to give you a job, get employed, do something. Let him uh and we and just the real talk. Maybe that is the reason why he has stopped giving money. Maybe he has sent some sort of desperation from your exactly. head. Or just sense the fact that you really just want money. And that's why he stopped giving money. So maybe you should just take a chill pill. Re relax your horses. Mm -hmm. And if you really like this man, I mean, get your eyes off the damn money. Like, yes, he's rich, but auntie, relax. It's not you that gave him the money. Oh, uh, my still be rich, Asha, but okay. Did you cancel? Did you People are nice like that. I mean, in this world, mm -hmm. you know what dollar? Do you know what naira is? It's dollar now. Three hundred thousand naira. We are going to do this fight now behind. So we'll be drawing the court in this particular episode. Everybody just needs to like chill because this particular um. Hmm. So I come your way next time. I am waiting for you, but do not forget the most important thing. Keep the comments rolling in. If you have your own stories, don't forget. Drop it in the comment section. Yeah. Let us dissect this thing together. And give you life advice that you need for you your life. You understand? Like, like, share, follow, subscribe, comment. Tell your friends how to drop their comment because here, hey, plenty. Bye for now. Bye.